All right, welcome back everyone. Today I have with me this GSG MP40 chambered in nine millimeter Parabellum. This is a semi-automatic closed bolt reproduction of the, of course, well-known German MP40 used in World War II and is a neat way to be able to kind of own a, a reproduction of one without having to pay thousands of dollars for a real MP40. Not entirely sure what they retail at, but I'm guessing it's uh, above the 5,000 mark. Of course, it's class three, so we've got to keep it semi-automatic. So these were actually made in Germany over the last five years or so by a company called German Sport Guns and are imported by American Tactical Imports. They also make one chambered in 22 uh, long rifle and they also make a 22 reproduction of the Sturmgewehr or the MP44, which unfortunately they did not make in any other caliber. But I just kind of wanted to do a, a quick disassembly of it and show you what's inside and, and what's a bit different from a real MP40. So let's go ahead and have a look. Okay, so the first thing we wanna to do to take this apart is we, of course, wanna remove the magazine. Here's the magazine release here, easy for your thumb. Um, the set comes with one of these, just as a factoid. You cannot use real MP40 magazines as a substitute for this just because of how this internally works, so I would not recommend going out and doing that. So we're gonna go ahead and put the bolt and the safety catch up here, and then, of course, there is a small takedown pin on the side here, which separates the upper frame, holding the barrel and the lower receiver together. And um, there's also a massive spring right here alongside the frame. So I would just hold this in place or else the whole back, sar back part of the gun is just gonna fly out at you. So what I would do is just go ahead and take a brass uh, punch right here. Give this a couple good punches. And then again, I'm just gonna hold this back as tightly as I can. Go ahead and pull that out. It's really tight in there for some reason. Which is not a bad thing necessarily. Man, it is. There you go. So here's the pin. We're just gonna put this to the side. Now, oh, and here we go. So, as you can see, you've got the lower and upper receiver, and then you've got this massive spring here, which holds the bolt in place. Um, now, this is already nothing like a real MP40, which on an actual MP40, you would unscrew the safety knob on the bottom here, and then twist the lower receiver to the right, separating the two pieces. And so, again, cosmetically, it looks like an MP40, but it really doesn't function anything like one. So at this point, the lower receiver, which is right here, doesn't need to be disassembled any further. Um, however, I'll draw attention to the side panel, which can be removed. There's two screws, one here and one here, but it's just a plastic side panel. And this is what I'll draw attention to here is this bar across here. Um, it's called a transfer bar and it connects the trigger assembly to the hammer as you can see here you have your hammer in a real mp40 the transfer bar would be along the middle down here and it wouldn't have a hammer at all since it's an open bolt gun instead it would just have a small bolt release that would allow the bolt to go forward when the trigger is pulled Taking a look at the upper receiver, we'll first remove the charging handle from the safety catch, like that. And then we'll go ahead and pull the handle out to uh, release the bolt assembly, which comes out of the rear. Quite easy, you literally just take her out. And then it just falls out the back, like this. From here, we don't really need to disassemble anything else, um, unless you need to. Um, it's a lot of small, tiny parts that aren't really worth taking a look at in a quick disassembly video. Again, if, I suppose if a part breaks, you can do that, but um, for the purpose of this, this is just kind of like a field strip. On the front of the barrel here, you have a thread protector, which just allows you to, um, you know, replace the front sight here. So there's a little bolt that you can see and you just kind of depress this and this unscrews 
pretty easily as long as it doesn't get caught. And this is again going to give you access to the front sight, which just slides out. And we'll just let that drop. So now this just slides off with a little bit of pressure. And then you can remove the front sight, which just comes out pretty easily. Now, the nice thing about this is it. I guess it does come with four additional sites of varying measurements and tips and sizes. I'm not sure exactly why they included different sites in here. Some are, some are taller, some are wider, um, but maybe it's just to adjust for elevation um, or if you lose one. But um, either way, um, those are just a few more of the accessories. I've never had to do it. The one that's the default on there seems to work fairly well. Okay, so to reassemble everything, it's pretty easy. We'll go ahead and put the bolt back in the upper receiver, like so. You just have to make sure it all lines up. And then we'll go ahead and we'll take the, uh, go ahead and take the bolt head, the bolt handle, followed by the, go ahead and stick that in there, just to make sure everything lines up. Pretty simple. Then we'll go ahead and take uh, the recoil spring and the spring housing and put it in here. Make sure that all lines up. And then uh, remember the spring is pretty tight so you'll just have to hold it back together. And we'll just go ahead and put, uh, just go ahead and put this all together. You might have to just apply a lot of pressure to that, to that spring, which you do want a, a nice tight spring. And then if you can, move the bolt handle back into the, uh, the bolt <clears throat> safety notch. Hold that tight if you can. Sometimes what I do is I just hold it in my lap. I'll do that off screen so I can just, you can see I'm going ahead and putting the, the uh, bolt lug in here, the bolt pin, and you just slide it in give it a good tap and there you have it it's all reassembled so you know while this gun is recoil operated and self-loading the similarities with the original mp40 pretty much end there the actual mp40 was an open bolt gun which means the the bolt chambered and fired the round in a single motion and it was also full auto so as you can see this gun is closed bolt it has to be made that way in order for it to be imported into the United States. So this really is only cosmetically an MP40, and if you'd like to see a real MP40 disassembled, TFB TV has a pretty good demonstration, so I'll go ahead and link to that. Now the last thing I'll note about this is you can see this small circle right here. The original MP40s had folding stocks on them, of course. Uh, if you put a folding stock on this, it would be a short barreled rifle and you would have to do all the paperwork with the ATF. Um, so they're sold with the possibility of modifying them, but um, again, they come without them because short barreled rifles are, um, uh, they are, of course, NFA weapons. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration.